I used to ride my bike to work, but then I I gave up and started taking the bus. <laughs> my commute to work was like uphill. So the morning commute was tough. I would be all sweaty by the time I get to work. After after biking uphill the whole way. But then after work was the best because I didn't have to pedal at all. I just go all the way down. <laughs> but I did give up and just start taking the bus because I found out that there was a bus route that goes like, like literally my exact commute and it takes like three minutes. <laughs> but the money, okay, but I had a bus pass for my work. They gave me a bus pass so I didn't have to spend any money. It was free. <laughs> it was free. The bike never stood a chance. My bike got stolen. I don't know if I've ever told this story. It was my first internship and I was so excited. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy a bike so that I can bike to my internship. And I did. Well, I went to the bike shop and I was like, okay, I need a bike lock. Can you recommend one to me? And they recommended me one of those like soft loop bike locks. And I got that and I parked my bike outside. <laughs> and the first night that I parked it outside, it got stolen. <laughs> I went down in the morning ready to start my internship. And I saw that my bike lock was cut and it was on the ground and my bike was no longer to be found. I just started crying and I had to call my internship and I was like, my bike got stolen. I'm sorry. I don't know how to go in today. And they were like, oh, that's fine. You can start tomorrow. Don't worry about it. So sad because my bike was stolen and I was like, what do I do? And I called my mom and I was like, my bike got stolen. What do I do? And she was like, okay, you need to call the police. So I called the police. And this is where I got really lucky. I called the police and there's a lady I talked to on the phone. And she was like, oh, your bike got stolen this morning or last night. We have your bike. We, we caught the person <laughs> in the act of stealing your bike. You can come to the station to pick it up. And I was like crying on the phone with her. I guess it was, it was an emotional like, Oh my God, thank you so much. This is, this is so, so amazing that you found my bike. <laughs> this means so much to me. Thank you so much. You've saved my day, my internship. Thank you. <laughs> And she was just like, come pick it up, okay? <laughs> we don't want to store it here anymore. And you know, after that, I started keeping my bike in my apartment until the apartment manager saw me putting it in there and was like, hey, you can't put your bike in your apartment. That's against code. Well, just put it in the in the, the bike room. The, the what room? The The bike room? We have a locked garage specifically for bikes. I could have just parked my bike in the bike room and it wouldn't have been stolen. We had one of those. Yeah, so then I, I started putting it in the bike room. <laughs> Do I still have the bike? No. I stopped using it when I figured out it's easier to ride the bus. <laughs> So I donated my bike. <laughs>